Hello and welcome to another RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how to do uh, seasons or how to change seasons within your game. Now the important thing to remember about this is that you can only do this if you've got tile sets that match each season. So for, the, for my game, I've called it Season Shift, I've used um, a guy's tile set, it's called Mac. He's quite uh, well known in the RPG Maker VX to, uh, community. So, what I did was I downloaded his uh, seasonal tiles from a website and I imported them into my resource manager. So, I went down to tile sets, import, uh, here's all the autumn ones, here's all the spring ones, here's all the summer ones, and there's all the winter ones. I'll show you what they look like. Uh, when they're all put together here. Uh, where's the tile sets tab? Here we go. So now we've got the summer tile set. Nice and sunny, nice clean, lots of uh, flowers and stuff growing. The spring one, not too much different to the summer one. It's uh, just a little bit lighter, really. Um, a little bit fresher with uh, some blossom trees, etc. Uh, the autumn one is actually quite nice. It's got a nice tonally uh, more brown and uh, orange tinges to everything. Um, obviously a lot of the leaves on the trees are dying out and going brown and red. and The blossoms are thinning out on the blossom trees, etc. etc. Et so that's quite nice. And then finally the winter one. Obviously everything is covered in snow and ice. So these are particularly nice um, tiles uh, if you use someone else's tiles remember to credit them in your game uh, credits so once you've imported the tile sets and you've created them in your tile set uh, tab in your database um, if you don't know how to do that basically you change maximum you add a, another tile set you give it a name and then you basically you pick from your imported uh, tiles from the resource manager and you do A1 for animation, A2 for ground, A3 for buildings, A4 for walls, A5 for normal and then B, C, D and E basically interchangeable but you want to make sure that every season is ordered in the same order that's going to be quite important so for instance um, the B tab has got all the trees, bushes, crates uh, pots etc and it's the same for autumn winter and spring and summer they're all uh, sorry that's the dungeon one they're all the same as each other in the same order so once you've done that you want to create an event in your game um, let's uh, on, scroll down there we go so basically the way I've done it is there's these magical statues that you can go up to and interact with and when you interact with them you had the choice of changing them to uh, spring, summer, autumn or winter. So create an event on an area that you want to do that with. Then you want a bit of text saying change season, show choices, you want four choices with uh, disallowing the cancel. So you've got uh, spring, summer, autumn and winter. So then you want to do, you want to have a nice sound effect, I've chosen Magic 7, you can have whatever you want, you don't even have to have a sound effect, it's just uh, a nice way of confirming that the player has changed the, the season he's in. I've uh, done a flash screen, uh, I believe that just flashes the screen white uh, for like a split second, so again that's more confirmation and it creates a, a slightly more interesting transition between the seasons. Then you want to do change tile set. Now this is the obvious thing. So what that basically does, it changes the tile set of the map you're on to a different tile set. Now this is why it's important to have the tile sets ordered in the same order. Uh, so say the default tile set is autumn like it is on this map. So when the character clicks on the um, event he can choose spring and if he chooses spring then it will basically just change the tile set he's on to spring and that will just change 
all of the surroundings and everything the character can see and interact with it will change to the spring tile set so that's uh, purely a aesthetic change really um, but f to make it more interesting for my game I've got puzzles related to certain seasons that you're in it might may remind you of the Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons game so basically uh, to check whether your player is in a particular season I've got switches one switch for each season so spring summer autumn and winter and um, so when you change the tile set that will turn the um, switch on depending on what season you've changed it to but you want to remember that if you're changing quickly between seasons you don't want multiple switches to be on at the same time so what you want to do is uh, like I've done here when you turn spring switch on you want to turn uh, summer autumn and winter off so I've got um, batch control switches batch 2 to 4 that is uh, 2 3 and 4 is um, summer autumn and winter to off and I've done that the same for every single one you might have to create two because you um, you can only do a batch between two numbers you can't uh, for instance summer is number two so you can't do between one and four because that includes number two so you had to do spring individually there and just do three and four at the same time there so that's uh, basically how I change my seasons and have switches for the seasons so that for instance I've got these vines here these vines you have to plant a seed in spring and by summer once you've changed the uh, season to summer the vines will grow so then you can climb up the vines and go on your way so that's just one example of how that works I'll just uh, I'll just show you quickly uh, what that looks like in action So this is a, a demo, so we'll just quickly skip through the character creation thing here. Um, I just again, I'll just call it plus like I did on the other tutorial. So um, basically, I'm going to collect some vine seeds here. Um, that's for the uh, vine puzzle that we've got coming up. So when we've done that um, uh, over here, this is where I'll be planting the seeds. We need to change it to spring for that though. So go up to the statue, click enter on it, change it to spring. And as you can see it's all nice and spring like and if I go back over here and I can plant the seeds and uh you see a little sapling there, so that's nice. Then uh go back to the statue and change it to summer. And as you can see the vine has now grown, so we can get up the top and back down and uh climb around. So uh if we change it to uh, autumn now and show you what that looks like. Uh, actually, we'll change it to winter. Yes. Uh, so, I in winter, um, you see this uh, crate here. It's turned to an icy block. So that's another unique puzzle idea for the season changing. And basically, that instead of pushing one at a time, it um, makes it slide all the way across the screen. So I'm just gonna um, clip through here show what it looks like pushing it one at a time so in all the other seasons that's what that looks like so that's just another idea of how seasons can enhance your uh, game puzzles so uh, I might actually make a tutorial for the crate and the uh, vine um, growing thing I think that might be quite nice um, Anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and found it useful, and I'll see you in the next one.